Okay, look, let's work on another variation when the guy's uh, escaping his knee right here. He's uh, escaping the leg drag. He's bringing the knee to your chest, okay? And then we all know he, he will use the knee shield, push, get space, replace the guard, okay? So uh, if he gets the knee out, go start uh, putting the knee on my chest. I'm gonna pulse my hand, okay? So I, I try my best not to give him space. So let's say the knee is here and he's pushing. I'm, I'm still holding the, the collar. Okay, I pulse my hand and kind of like lean forward. Okay, doing, doing my best to, you know, just stay there for a few seconds until I can do something, okay? So if I just relax here, he's gonna push me away, replace the guard, okay? So let's go again. Get the knee out, put it on my chest. Right there, I pulse my hand, I kind of like lean forward. Now I'm gonna, you see how I'm, uh, I'm bringing my hips up so I have more space right here? And I'm gonna shoot my knee through this gap. Ooh. Get it to leg weave, okay? Now I use my elbow, I push the leg down, and I step over. I'm gonna end up here, okay? So you see, I was, I had a good position, I had the leg drag, but then he was doing a good job, he, you know, he was able to start defending the pass. I can't be slow, I have to, you know, I have to see what he's doing and react fast so I don't lose the position. So I switch everything to leg weave. I'm gonna end up here, then it's up to you how you wanna finish, you can, pass this way take the back go to side control you can uh, a lot of times uh we slide the knee over like a knee slice get to side control okay there's just so many different ways you can finish the leg weave but again the key is to make sure we don't lose the leg drag okay look one more time he's you know he's doing a good job he was able to post his elbow and he's pushing me away He's getting the knee to my chest. He knows he will replace the guard, okay? So I kind of like lean forward. I pulse my hand, like right here, let's turn. Turn that way, yeah, you see? So I was right here hugging, trying to stabilize. But once the knee goes right here on my chest, just holding it, it's not enough. If I just try to muscle, push. It will push me away, okay? So I need to just lean forward, pulse my hand, because now push. Even when he's pushing, I can shoot the knee through and end up here step over go to a uh, leg weave okay just just understand that if the knee goes on your chest okay you have to do something fast okay and in my opinion going to a uh, leg weave makes a lot of sense because you just you just need to bring your hips up and shoot the knee through we'll come one more time so i'm right here he's coming up right get the knee to my uh, to my chest he's escaping the knee i lean forward i pulse my hand hips up Look the knee coming through the gap. Boom, end up here. A lot of times, the, the, you see how the knee is too high, like right here on my chest? So I use my elbow, I push the leg down, so it's easier for me to step over and end up in leg weave. So that's the technique, okay? Let's make sure uh, we don't give space. We see that we are losing. We have to realize it's important to fight for the position, but you, you also need to realize when you're losing it. So if you're losing the position, you have to realize that you're losing it, you have to connect to something else, okay? Don't try to muscle, just connect, okay? Let's go, guys. One, two. Now, let's, let's uh, deal with this situation where he brings the knee out. So I, I can feel, I can see that the knee is coming out. And if I, don't do it, if I don't do something fast, he will use the knee, like the knee should push me away and replace, okay? So of course, I'm trying my best to, uh, you know, when, when he pulls the elbow, he sits up, he's pulsing the elbow, he starts to push on my neck. I, I want to do something fast before the knee gets here. But sometimes the guy does a good job. You're not able to, uh, you know, maintain the position, and you see the knee coming out. So when I see that, I need I need to move fast. So start pulling the knee out. I'm gonna posture up, stand up right here, and I'm gonna catch his knee. You see my hand? Normally the hand is behind his back, holding the belt, the pants, trying to stabilize the position. Okay, and that's the right thing to do. You should be trying to avoid it. Like keep your elbow tight, controlling the leg, okay? But again, if it doesn't work for some reason, the guy is able to uh, bring the knee out, go, start pulling the knee out. You're gonna catch the leg, you see how I hold the leg? So I posture up, I use my hand, I push the knee down, and then I use my hook, I use my knee to control the leg, okay? So push the knee down and use your knee so it'll be easier to maintain the position. Now you're gonna switch your grip. You're gonna go here. You're gonna grab the collar using this hand, okay? Thumb in, grab the collar, grab the pants, okay? 
because if I don't grab the pants, then uh, I won't be able to move my leg. I'm gonna lose control. So I need to go here, grab the pants, so I can walk to the side. I start walking, passing the guard. I can I can jump armbar, but you have less control. So let's work on taking the back. I'm gonna start walking this way. Okay, he's still pushing. He's fighting. Okay, or maybe you know if if he doesn't want to keep pushing, he's gonna turtle. Then you you take the back. But let's deal with this situation where uh, he's still holding the collar. He's still like pushing me away. I'm gonna close the distance. Just like, you know, I lower my chest, I put pressure on him, I close the distance. I'm also pulling the collar, almost like choking him. So I'm using the collar grip to put a lot of pressure right here. He's not gonna tap, but it's just uncomfortable. Then I drop my knee and I step over his arm. I end up here. Here I feel I can choke him. I can underhook, use this to choke him. Or if I decide to take his back, I can let go. So I get in the seat belt and then take his back, okay? I mean, you guys can see there's just many different ways you can finish the pass or the back attack, the submission. You can do whatever you feel comfortable. Once you get here, I feel like what I'm trying to teach you guys, like the key, is to not lose the position, okay? If you get to leg drag, you should be able to get to a good position like the back, the side control, or a submission, okay? So let's focus on making sure we don't we don't, you know, we don't go from here to here, where the guy has full guard, he's gonna be attacking you, okay? So that's, that's uh, the most important for me, is to make sure we don't move backwards, okay? We, we get to good position, we're always moving forward. All right, so look, like Jag, he's escaping, right? Uh, I do my best to stabilize, but you know, somehow it, it's not working, he's able to get the knee out. So before the leg is here, of course, if he's stepping on me, it's too late, I lost the opportunity. Okay, so when I see the knee coming to my chest, go again, look, when I see the knee coming to my chest, I bring this leg up right here. Okay, stand up, use your hand, just push the leg down. Okay, keep pushing, keep pushing. Use your knee, that's gonna help you a lot, okay? You see how the knee is controlling his leg, keeping his leg down, okay, keeping his knees together, so he's kinda like stuck there, okay? Now I'm gonna switch my grip, I'm gonna go here, Okay, uh, grab the collar, so I can uh, use the other hand, the hand that was grabbing the collar, it's gonna go to the pants. So now once I, so you see, I, I'm always controlling the leg. That's, that's what I'm trying to show you guys. Right now I have the hook, okay. Once I switch the grip, I have the hand. So I'm always controlling the leg. Look, when, when I'm walking this way, I'm still controlling the leg. Because if I'm not, let's say I just wanna move to the side. He's gonna replace the guard. You see, he's, yeah, he's able to uh, move his hips like he, he was doing before, or he can open his legs and replace. So, it's super important to keep controlling the leg. I, I, keep, uh, I keep forcing him to face the wrong side, okay? So if I'm passing right here, I want him facing the other way. So I'm going to his back, to side control is just easier. Okay, if I, let him, if I lose control on the leg and I let him face me, then I'm gonna be in trouble. He's gonna be pummeling the leg, replacing, okay? Again, push. So the knee's getting out. Go bring the knee to my chest. I posture up, I push the knee down. I use the hook, okay? My knee's controlling the leg. I switch my grip. I grab the pants. I walk. I put pressure on the neck. I get myself closer to him, like chest. Uh, putting pressure on his chest, on his shoulder. Yeah, I don't want to stay too far away because he will find some space. So I kind of like lean forward, putting a lot of pressure. Okay, so it's harder for him to move. I drop my knee and then I step over. Step over. A lot of times you're going to be able to finish right here. Or you can just work to take the back. Sit belt, take the back. Okay. Again, it's, it's up to you how you finish. I'm sure... Uh, you know, you guys will have different options, you know. Uh, it, it depends on your game, how you wanna finish. But again, the, the key for me is to have this mindset that once I get to a good position like the leg drag, I can't move backwards. I should always be moving forward. That means moving towards the submission, to, to the back, to side control, or to, you know, to a submission like arm bar. Bef even before passing or taking the back, jump arm bar, okay? So never accept moving, like losing position, moving backwards. All right, so let's go. One, two.